I'm Mick from the BBC. <laughs> Join us now for our search for the man with the most unusual hobby <clears throat> in the world. <laughs> Right, uh, here we are with um, Steve. Now, it is Steve, isn't it? Yes. Well, um, Steve, it's very good to have you here and thank you for consenting to this little interview. Now, I believe you Not know... Not a problem, mate. <laughs> well, yes, sir. thank you. Now, I believe you are very good friends with the man with the most unusual hobby in the world. <laughs> right, so th th this is true, then, you know him. <laughs> right, so, well... Well, could you tell us a little bit about him, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, his, uh, his name's... His name's... Uh, Buffnut. A Buffnut. Uh, him. That's his name. A Buffnut. Him. <laughs> oh, I suppose it all started back when we was just little, uh, little boys, really. Uh, used to steal my, uh, my dad's truck. Right. Go up the, uh, local pig farm. Just get a few of them in the trailer. Uh, take them home. Uh, using nothing, like, nothing, nothing but a hacksaw, screwdriver, and three eyelashes. We'd make them look pretty, mate. Right. <laughs> we make them look and, pretty. Um, and, um, and well, is that, is that the unusual hobby that, that, a, that a buff nut still, still carries? Is no, that, mate. No, that, that's not the unusual hobby. No, mate. Alright, uh, so we have, um, Professor, um, um, Bill Highbury. Yes, that's that's right. Yes, now you you are um, an, an expert on on um, Mr. Um, Arbuthnot. Yeah, that's the one. Arbuthnot with with the most unusual hobby in the world. You you studied him. Um, so can you what, what what can you tell us about him really? Well, uh, you know, first things first. Uh, I'm from Canada, and uh, right. one, one or two things that we like to do in Canada. Or ride moose, stack some cards. Uh, um, what what can you tell us about a buff nut? Oh well, uh, he's got a disease which we like to call. It's, you know, it's sort of um, some people call it disease, others call it a uh, problem, a malfunction, if you will, with the uh, frontal lobe of the brain. It causes him to have an impulse to murder people only. It's, you, you may think, you know, crying schizophrenia, uh, uh, okay, serial killer, but the difference there is that a serial killer can't kill unless he's had serial. <laughs> right, uh, hello, Mrs., uh, Mrs., um, about the nuts. Here you go! I'm oh, good, how are you? Thank you for consenting to this interview. Good night! Thank you for consenting to this, in this short interview. Not a f***ing problem, mate. Right? <laughs> yes, yeah, lovely. Can you tell us a bit about your, your son, uh, a buff nut? Ah, uh, a buff nut's a bit, uh... Oh, he's a bit f***ed in the head. Ah, uh, he's a good boy, though. He, uh... Is he? He, he does the dishes once a week for his old mum. Right, um, well, have you heard about his unusual hobby? Yeah. Right, could you tell us where it sort of came from? Oh, it was, uh, him and his mate Steve he used to go down the local pig farm and take a few pigs and, uh, yes, yes, um, re do really <laughs> weird <laughs> shit to them. <laughs> yes, um, <clears throat> we, 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 uh, yes, I've spoken to Steve and he's, he's, he's told us that. How do you find Steve? Well, he, we, he was, um... He was trying to track down that mother Well, did, did he ever, ever bring any, any body, bodies home at all? Yeah, pig what? bodies. No, no, I mean like human, human bodies. No, just pig bodies. Just pigs? Yeah. Right. Um, is there anything else that you could tell us, Mr... Oh, well, he brought home a llama one day. A llama? Yeah. Where did he get that from? I don't know. He cut all his legs off at all. The llama was f***ed! Well, could you tell us, um, 
where we could find a, a bath nut. Oh, uh, yeah. Hangs out on uh, on top of uh, Blueberry Hill, man. Right. Is that is that near here? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, oh. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, it's about four hours. <laughs> right. Yeah, <man. laughs> well, thank you for your time. My crew are gone. I'm left alone to try and track down the man with the most unusual hobby in the world. That is could very well be the last time that I uh, ever, well, record anything. So if that is the case, this is Mick from the BBC signing off. And, oh, I say, I do believe we may have found our man. Um... Hello there. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't, don't be alarmed. <laughs> Mate, you scared the s*** out of me. Huh. Hi, um... How are you doing? Uh, good. Uh, I'm a bath nut. Uh, you're, 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 you're a bath nut? Yeah. Uh, the reason I've tried to find you is that um, we believe that you may have the most... Uh, well, an unusual... A uh, hobby, as, as we understand. Right, okay. yeah. Do you in fact have a, a hobby that's unusual? Yeah, I mean, you know, unusual to say the least, really. Um, right, so what, what, what is your, your, your hobby? Killing people. <laughs> right! Yeah. Pe yes, killing people. That's right, yeah. It's just, just, um, any, just anyone? Anyone, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of a... Yes, I'm anyone at all. Absolutely yeah. anyone. I'm not, I'm not feeling you today, though, oh. it's okay. Oh, cool, good. <laughs> yeah. um, well, do you mind if I interview you about your, your hobby? No, no, that should be fine, yeah. Oh, yeah cool. well, well, let's, let's sit down and we'll, we'll, we'll get started. Okay, sure. Yeah. Right. right, well, um, Mr. Abathnut, isn't it? Yes. Um, thank you for agreeing to the interview. Um, no problem. <laughs> can, can you tell me a bit about, in detail, about your hobby? Yeah, well, um, yeah, of course. Um, I, well, sort of what it entails, really, is um, the simple a a act of... Of killing, of killing someone. Right. Um, different weapons are used. Um, t tonight, I'm tonight. I'm using just a pistol. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. Yeah, it's yeah. just a. It's a good. Um, it does the job quite well. This one. It's just. It's a good little one. Yeah. Um, you you come the wrong night, really. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I used a tire iron, spanners, golf clubs. Uh, you name it, really. Um. Well, we we spoke to your mother. And, um, well, she, she didn't really seem to... Have you spoken to my mum? Yes, I have, yes. Oh, my God, where is she? Well, she's just, she's just, like, she's, she's local. She's, she's just down the road? Yeah. Fuck. I haven't seen her in years. Oh. <laughs> she's still wearing the bike helmet. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Great. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll make it worth your while, okay? Right. Uh, if you want some good uh, footage, right. uh, you can come with me and, and we'll do one, if you like. What do you think? Do one? Yeah, do one. As in, kill I'm someone? Gonna, yeah. Right. We're just going to go kill someone. Uh, you know, if you don't want to see it too much, so sort of around here, because I know there's someone around that corner there, because I got this face out before I, before I sat down there. So. Right. So if I just sort of set up here, yeah, 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 around there should be fine, really. Right. Okay, mate, all right. They're just around that corner, okay? No, just, just around there. Just around there. Okay. okay. That's it, okay, sir. Voice is down. Right. I am going to come back. I'm going to be absolutely running for it, okay? You have to run right. with me. Right, run, run away. Absolutely leg it for your life, okay? Uh, okay. Ready? Uh, yes, of course, yes. Right. right. I, I, I really don't believe this. We're about to see him uh, exacting his, his, his hobby. We're going to see him kill some... Oh, thinking about it, I don't know if I should be filming this. Uh, oh, I suppose it's too late now. Uh, oh, I... Oh. 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 Fantastic. Oh, do you see that, mate? Oh, that was pretty. 
I've got three, three in the neck. That's completely unlike anything else, you know, three in the neck. And then I went my way down after that. God, God on my, you know. You're a bit shaken there, mate. Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> that was fantastic. That was a good one. Right. I can, yep. Yeah, I can hear, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Mate, I will see you later. It's been a pleasure. I'm Mick from the BBC. We came, we searched, we found the man with the most unusual and dangerous hobby in the world. I'm going to call the police now. Yes, uh, this is the police.